Westerman Brewery, British Bulldog, Best Bitter. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got one here, a local brewer from Westerham in Kent, and it is their British Bulldog Best Bitter. Now, this beer is named after Winston Churchill, and there is a connection with Westerham and Winston Churchill. He lived there after the war, and you can still visit his house now. It's down there on the, on the A25. I've not been there, I should really get my fat ass down there, but I just haven't got round to it. But it's it's got a big connection with Winston Churchill. And this beer is brewed in his honour, hence the name British Bulldog. Now, I don't know about you, but when someone mentions the word British Bulldog, I just remember a game we used to play at school years and fucking years ago that basically involved kicking the living shit out of each other and they decided to give it a name but that's all it was it was a free-for-all punching the shit out of each other they should have called it where it got the name british bulldog i don't know anyway that's by the by i love this brewery they do some really good beer and i reviewed them on the channel uh, since i've tried their british ipa and that was really good and they did a pale ale as well which was outstanding a british pale ale Dedicated to the Battle of Britain. Of course, Kent has got a big Battle of Britain heritage because I would say sort of 80% of it was fought over the, the skies of Kent. This was the main the main route for the German bombers that were coming over here. And of course, that's when it all kicked off. But these, uh, these do some really good beers. And if you look at the label, they do like their Kent heritage because they've got, you know, the Oast houses on, on the back of the label here. If you don't know what an host house is, it's basically where the hops are dried, they hang them up and there's a fire at the bottom of them and it's uh, they're all dried there. I've actually been in one, there's a, a still a working hop farm in Kent that was there. I should have fucking videoed it, but I'm an idiot. But there's uh, still a working hop farm in the Kent Life hop farm down in Aylesford, just down the road. And I've reviewed some of their beer and I sort of touch on it. This company is passionate about using Kent hops and they've got some quite interesting hops in here, all grown in Kent, which is really nice. And they come from the Fincox hop growers, and they grow some few, a few variety, or few varieties of hops, including the Whitbread Golden, which uh, which has been around since the 60s. That's used in here. I'll get onto the hops, uh, investigating the beer. But I suggest you do check out the the Western Brewery. They're based on the uh, on the A25 on the way to Surrey. It's quite a, quite a nice part of the world as well. I've driven through there a few times, well, I've been on the bike mainly, but yeah, I've driven through there in the car as well. Sometimes visiting, I've got family down in Surrey as well. So when I'm going, when I'm going the, uh, the non-motorway route, I normally go that way on the A25 through Westerham. But this looks like a good one. And, and they've got quite good ethics, this brewery. They, you know, they try to do their best to be sort of carbon neutral, they've got LPG delivery vans, etc. So, you know, I just I like what they do. They use, you know, they've got their own well that they've bored into, their own artesian well that they use, and everything about them I like. So let's see if this beer is going to live up to their reputation. Sorry about the camera angle. As I say on. On a couple of videos, I've been fucking about with the, uh, the camera, and I've been trying to get a, a better sort of view. I knew this was going to happen. You little bastard! I don't know what's happening today, but all my beers seem to be fizzing up. I 
I've just cleaned this bloody beer runner and all. Uh, just a quick, I'll uh, just quickly going over. I should have, I should have done this earlier. Um, it's a 500 mil bowl. It's 4.3 percent. It has got North Down, Whitbread Goldings, and Progress Hops in there. Um, I'm going to have to rush this now before this all, lot all fizzes up all over me. And it's got pale and crystal malts. And as I mentioned earlier, they're using the um, the water from the well that is poured into the brewery. Uh, I'm just going to open this up now because there's no point in me fucking about with it because it, it was, it's going to go everywhere. I don't know what the fuck has caused that, but that's the second bottle. I've just reviewed the... Um, I've just reviewed the Sandbrooks Brewery Best Bitter, which was absolutely outstanding, and that fizzed up on me. Oh, I don't know, it must be the way I'm storing it in that fridge. I don't know what's going on there, but there's shit all over the place. Anyway, let's get this in the glass. All right, here it is, in the glass. Not very impressive, I have to say. The head is dissipating quite quickly. There's a lot of carbonation in there. What's on the nose? I have to say, not a great deal. And the Sandbrook stuff, the flavours just leapt out of me. And as I say, it fizzed up. And as soon as it fizzed up, I was getting the aromas. But it, it, it was just sublime. It was a really, really good... I don't think this is going to live up to that. I'm getting some vague, and I do mean vague, caramel malt from this. And that is about it. There is not a lot in that at all. I'm going to give this a little bit of an aggressive pour, see if I can get a head going on it. And even after that, that's all I'm getting. That looks like a bit more of a respectable pint. It is sort of cloudy, very slightly cloudy. And this is just slightly colder than cellar temperature as well. Still not getting much, much of an aroma. Mm, alarm bells are ringing. And as I always say, the proof is in the tasting. So let's try that now. Cheers. Oh, and it's actually not bad. First thing I noticed, and I am going to compare this to the Sandbrooks because this is a best bitter as well. This hasn't got the body of the Sandbrooks. It's slightly weaker. But there is a nice bit of caramel malt on there. The crystal malt is coming through. There is that sweetness you get from the crystal malt. It hasn't got the big hop finish that the Sandbrook stuff had, but it is quite nice. And it's very drinkable, I will say that. This, and at 4.3, you know, this is, a, this is a good solid session bitter. I quite like it. It's not bad. Yeah, no real complaints on that at all. Nice, nice big burst of caramel malt when you when you get it in the mouth. But then you, the slightly weak body does become apparent and then the finish is all malt as well with them three hops in there the finish isn't as big in my opinion and it's probably the worst thing that could have happened for this this review and this beer because i just tasted the sandbrook stuff and i really liked that that was an amazing beer really good this i think has come at the wrong time because i'm going to compare it to the sandbrook stuff and i don't think it measures up as I say, the body's slightly weaker. It hasn't got the, the big hop finish. It's got a nice bit of caramel malt as well, I will say that. So, you know, there's the crystal malt, the sweetness from the crystal malt does come through on it. But yeah, the finish is a little disappointing. And 
Having said that though, it's not bad. Caramel malt, some nice subtle, but it's there, subtle earthy tones from the hops. There's a little touch of fruit on it, but it's not big at all. Uh, it's like a like an apple, pear, probably. That sort of, you know, it's not dark fruit, it's like a summer fruit type flavor to it. But it's, I'll tell you what, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. If I was served that in a pub, I'd be perfectly happy with it. Mm. And I think what's saving it is the really good malt. The crystal malt really does come through in this and it comes through nicely as well. And one thing I should mention, I should have mentioned it in the previous section, the, the yeast is a strain of yeast that originally came from the Black Eagle Brewery. Now this is where Westerham get their heritage from, the Black Eagle Brewery. And what they did, once the Black Eagle Brewery, I think was taken over, they freeze dried some of the yeast and it was taken over by, I think by Taylor Walker. And Taylor Walker, I think got taken over by Carlsberg. But whatever happened, there was some freeze dried strains of yeast that they've used in these beers from all the way back then. And I think Westerham have purchased the right, sole right to use this yeast from Carlsberg. So that's what they're using in here. And it does go down very nicely. Mm. That is nice. Very agreeable indeed. So what's the verdict on British Bulldog? This, I think, would have got a better review if I hadn't just tasted the Sandbrook's best bitter, because it's it's what I would compare the two. I, I will compare the two because they are the same style of beer. And sadly, I know that Sandbrook are a craft brewer. They've been around since 2008. This lot, I think, have been, well, this lot are basing their heritage on a very old brewery, the Black Eagle Brewery. But they, ha they haven't been going that long. I think it's, it's probably around the same sort of time. But... I think their best bitter, the Westerham British Bulldog, I think that's going to play second fiddle to the Sandbrook stuff. However, I will say the Westerham Pale Ale, the Triple X Pale Ale, was absolutely outstanding. That was a really good British Pale Ale. I gave that 10 out of 10. This, unfortunately, it's come at the wrong time. If I'd have tried this and I'd be trying some terrible lager and then tried this, I probably would have been ranting and raving how great this is. And don't get me wrong, it sounds like I'm knocking it. It's not. It's just that I've tried a really outstanding beer before this, and this doesn't quite match up to that outstanding beer. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. It is a good, solid session bitter. It's 4.3%. I could drink a hell of a lot of this. If this was the only beer available, I would be perfectly happy. It's got a lot going for it. It's got lovely caramel malt, the hop finish is slightly disappointing, and I think that's what separates this from the Sandbrook stuff, but it's still good, you know, and local brewery as well. I'd love to see what this is like on tap. I think they do do it on tap. And I'm out and about this week. I'm going for a beer with me mate, and I'll see if they've got any Westerham stuff on tap. But as for the bottle stuff, it's not bad. It's going to get an eight and a... I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of ten. I'm going to recommend it. But I'm also going to recommend the Sandbrook stuff as well. That is outstanding. And remember, beer is working class champagne.